Eight years of doubt ends now. The 2026 Tesla Semi just dropped. And Elon Musk says you won't even recognize it compared to 2025. Battery switch from LFP to 4680 cuts weight and costs 40%. Drag drops from 0.36 to 0.33, boosting efficiency 8%. Production jumps to 200 units daily at Giga Semi. Add FSD capability, megawatt charging, lighter chassis, redesigned aerodynamics. Eight upgrades that leave Peterbilt and Volvo scrambling. But here's what nobody's asking. If Tesla could build this in 2026, why did they let the industry burn cash on inferior tech for nearly a decade? The truth starts with batteries and it's more calculated than anyone realizes. Since 2017, every Tesla Semi used LFP battery chemistry. The choice made sense. Lower costs, excellent safety, stable performance in cold weather. But LFP cells hide a brutal trade-off that Tesla managed in silence for eight years. Energy density. LFP packs significantly less energy per kilogram. To achieve 500-mile range, Tesla installed a massive 900-kilowatt-hour pack requiring thousands of cells. More cells mean more weight. More weight means less payload capacity. In freight, payload directly translates to revenue per trip. Every pound of battery is a pound of cargo you can't carry. PepsiCo, Walmart, and DHL took delivery, ran the numbers, and most operators stayed on the sidelines waiting for something better. What's fascinating is Tesla had the solution years ago. The 4680 cell debuted in Cybertruck with nearly double the energy density, yet semi-production continued with heavier chemistry, hand-assembling roughly 300 units while Elon promised mass production was coming. The delay wasn't incompetence, it was strategic patience. Tesla needed Giga Semi operational, costs optimized, supply chain perfected before committing to volume. The 2026 model switches to 4,680 cells and implications cascade through every aspect of economics. Same 500 mile range, smaller pack, reduced weight, manufacturing costs cut 40%. Dan Priestley confirmed range stays unchanged, meaning all efficiency gains convert to payload capacity and lower pricing. Fleet operators who walked away suddenly have compelling math. The semi isn't just competitive with diesel. It's economically superior before fuel savings. But Tesla made another move revealing sophisticated market understanding. LFP isn't disappearing. The 300-mile variant keeps LFP chemistry to slash upfront costs for regional operators. Small companies don't need 500-mile range. They need affordable entry. Tesla now offers two battery strategies. Premium 4680 for long-haul dominance, budget LFP for regional accessibility. Competitors are figuring out one solution. Tesla deployed two simultaneously. This battery transformation connects to the second shift hiding in plain sight. Aerodynamics. Drag coefficient dropped from 0.36 to 0.33. That 0.03 reduction sounds trivial until you understand physics. At highway speeds, drag accounts for majority energy consumption. A 0.03 improvement means 5 to 8% better efficiency across millions of miles. For one truck running 100,000 miles annually, that's thousands in saved energy. Scale across 200 trucks, and you're looking at millions from aerodynamics alone. Tesla achieved this through comprehensive front-end redesign, shorter modular windshield, smooth curves replacing sharp angles, new LED light bar managing airflow. Every surface optimized through computational modeling that legacy manufacturers can't match because their designs are constrained by 100-year-old combustion requirements. Peterbilt and Volvo are trapped by diesel engines requiring giant radiators and cooling systems that limit aerodynamic potential. Tesla started with electric motors, allowing complete freedom-shaping exterior purely for efficiency. These gains become exponentially valuable with the third transformation, autonomous capability. Tesla added a camera above the front wheel arch, and the exterior is optimized for sensor integration. This isn't eventual autonomy, it's imminent deployment. Full self-driving on semi changes the entire economic equation in ways the industry hasn't registered. 
A human driver operates 11 hours daily before mandatory rest. An autonomous truck operates 23.5 hours, stopping only for 30-minute charging. Driver salaries represent 30 to 40% of trucking costs. Eliminate the driver, you eliminate the largest expense while doubling utilization. Insurance drops because autonomous systems don't get drowsy or distracted. Once one major fleet proves FSD works, every competitor must adopt within months or face bankruptcy. Tesla's positioning is predatory. Waymo can't scale to highways. Crews imploded. Legacy automakers are years behind and lack real-world data. Tesla collects from millions of vehicles daily. When FSD activates, Tesla owns the only proven autonomous freight solution globally. That's monopolistic control over an industry's future. Autonomous capability connects to charging infrastructure. Tesla increased megacharger power to 1.2 megawatts, dropping charge time from 40 to 30 minutes for 10 to 70% charge. In 24-7 autonomous operation, that 10-minute savings is transformative. Every minute saved charging is revenue-generating miles. More importantly, Tesla controls the ecosystem. Megachargers are proprietary. Competitors' trucks can't use them. This creates devastating network effects. More semis justify more megachargers. More megachargers make semis more attractive. More adoptions make competitor trucks less viable because infrastructure doesn't exist. Tesla isn't selling vehicles. They're building a closed ecosystem that locks in customers and locks out competition. The fifth shift involves weight reduction through advanced materials. Lighter chassis cuts vehicle weight substantially. Federal regulations cap gross weight at 80,000 pounds. Every pound of truck is a pound of payload you can't carry. The 2026 Semi's lighter construction translates to higher revenue per trip because operators haul more cargo under legal limits. Tesla optimized chassis for manufacturing efficiency. Giga Semi's automated lines handle advanced materials at scale, something traditional manufacturers struggle with using legacy production systems. This advantage compounds over time. Tesla gets lighter, stronger trucks while reducing costs. Competitors face heavier trucks with higher expenses. This brings us to what makes everything possible. Giga Semi, 4 million square feet with integrated battery production. Once operational, 200 trucks daily, 50,000 annually versus 300 total over eight years. The facility targets 10 minute build time per truck. Traditional manufacturing requires days. That automation requires enormous capital, which is why competitors haven't attempted it. But once running, it creates insurmountable cost advantage. Here's the strategic insight most miss. Tesla deliberately delayed until this facility was ready. For eight years, competitors watched the prototype, assumed technology wasn't ready, and invested in their own programs. Nikola raised billions. Rivian pursued vans. Legacy manufacturers launched limited programs all designed around Tesla's 2017 capabilities and limited volumes. Then Tesla flips the switch. Giga Semi launches. The 2026 model has 4,680 batteries, superior aerodynamics, FSD, megawatt charging, lighter construction, and capacity to flood markets. Every competitor just realized they built strategy on incomplete information. The truck they thought they were competing against doesn't exist. Catching up requires starting over, and by then Tesla will have iterated again. This brings us to what makes everything possible. Giga Semi, 4 million square feet with integrated battery production. Once operational, 200 trucks daily, 50,000 annually, versus 300 total over eight years. The facility targets 10-minute build time per truck. Traditional manufacturing requires days, that automation requires enormous capital, which is why competitors haven't attempted it. But once running, it creates insurmountable cost advantage. Here's the strategic insight most miss. Tesla deliberately delayed until this facility was ready. For eight years, competitors watched the prototype, assumed technology wasn't ready, and invested in their own programs. Nikola raised billions. Rivian pursued vans. Legacy manufacturers launched limited programs all designed around Tesla's 2017 capabilities and limited volumes. Then Tesla flips the switch. Giga Semi launches. 
The 2026 model has 4,680 batteries, superior aerodynamics, FSD, megawatt charging, lighter construction, and capacity to flood markets. Every competitor just realized they built strategy on incomplete information. The truck they thought they were competing against doesn't exist. Catching up requires starting over, and by then Tesla will have iterated again. The seventh upgrade is visual design signaling technological superiority. The LED light bar and futuristic aesthetic aren't just styling. In B2B purchasing, brand perception drives decisions. Fleet operators aren't just comparing specs, they're choosing what their company represents. The semi looks like innovation. It attracts different driver candidates, reduces turnover, lowers training costs. Those soft benefits are worth millions for large operators. The eighth transformation is the production target, 50,000 units in 2026. That number establishes market dominance before competitors respond. Flooding markets creates installed base momentum that's self-reinforcing. More trucks mean more infrastructure. More infrastructure increases value. More value drives sales. Competitors face a mature ecosystem they can't match without billions in infrastructure, generating no returns for years. What if the eight-year delay was intentional? Let competitors commit billions based on 2017 battery technology. Let them build around assumptions Tesla would use LFP. Then launch when costs dropped 40%. Automation perfected, FSD ready. That's predatory timing maximizing competitor casualties. The implications are existential. Traditional manufacturers face impossible choices, invest tens of billions retooling or exit entirely. Most will exit. The few attempting competition will hemorrhage cash before admitting defeat. By 2030, diesel semis are economically obsolete. By 2035, human-driven trucks are insurance liabilities. The 2026 Semi isn't competing, it's ending the industry and replacing it with something fundamentally different. These eight upgrades are components of complete industrial transformation. Tesla's not building a better truck, they're building an impenetrable moat around freight's future. Which change do you think impacts traditional trucking most? Here's the truth, Tesla's eight-year wait wasn't a delay, it was strategic timing. While competitors spent billions on 2017 technology, Tesla built Giga Semi, perfected four 680 batteries, developed FSD. When competitors committed, Tesla had engineered their obsolescence. The 2026 Semi proves it. Batteries cutting costs 40%, aerodynamics boosting efficiency 8%, autonomous capability, proprietary charging, 200 trucks daily production, these aren't improvements, they're diesel's death sentence. By 2027, autonomous fleets operate nationwide. By 2028, manufacturers exit. By 2030, diesel is economically dead. Which manufacturer collapses first when autonomous semis launch? Peterbilt, Volvo? Drop your answer below. If this gave you insights you won't find elsewhere, smash that like button. Subscribe to Tesla Zone for technology breakdowns reshaping transportation. Hit the notification bell so you never miss what's coming next. The future of freight just arrived. Thanks for watching. Tesla's $30,000 Cyber Cab is operating right now on public roads in Austin and San Francisco. 135 units, 550,000 miles driven, zero steering wheels, completely unsupervised. Waymo. After announcing their steering wheel free Zeker partnership in December 2021, five years later, not a single unit without a wheel has hit the streets. Every test vehicle still has one. Here's what's shocking Waymo's vehicles cost $200,000 each. Tesla plans two to four million cyber cabs by 2026 at under $30,000. So the real question is, can a company that couldn't deliver one steering wheel free car in five years actually compete with Tesla's mass production machine? December 2021, Waymo and Zeker announced a revolutionary robotaxi. No driver's seat, no steering wheel, no pedals. A completely reimagined passenger cabin designed for autonomous transportation. The timeline? Commercial deployment by 2026, fast 